Welcome to the Tuscarora High School Morning Announcements, your trusted source for school news. Good morning, Tuscarora. Want to learn about the THS mock trial team and get the audition materials? If you missed the flex sessions, then come to an after-school info session in B223 today at 2.30 with Ms. Bartman. Auditions will be held on Wednesday, October 18th. Seniors, if you haven't signed up for your senior picture times, you need to do that immediately. Senior portraits will be taken today through Wednesday. The CEO and executive producer at the Way Off Broadway Dinner Theater is coming to Tuscarora High School on October 18th during Fourth Block Flex. He's going to speak about the performance arts and business aspects of show production within the, within the dinner theater. Students should register using the QR code or link down below. Order your yearbook today. Don't wait. The best price of the year goes up on November 1st. Yearbookordercenter.com, hashtag 14640. Now to Tony with the weather. Thank you. Today, we'll have a high in the low to mid 60s. Rain possible, but unlikely. Come to Ligonor to cheer on the band at the Marching Band Showcase. Student tickets are just $2. Or check out our field hockey team who will host Middletown. Or support our girls soccer team as they travel to TJ. Back to you, Ray. Fat Bear Week continues. Did somebody say Fat Bear Week? Yum. Last week, we eliminated Mike Dicta, Mike ate all the Terrys, Jake Cutler, Justin Fields, and Patty Driscoll, and also Big Devin Hester. Today, we finished Tier 2 of our bracket as Dick Burkus faces off with Tyson Badgett and Walter Payton takes on Matt Roy Tay. Get those votes in, T-Row. I'm Riley, signing <laughs> Today is a day that the state of Maryland and the United States government recognize as Columbus Day. The first recorded celebration of Columbus Day in the United States took place on October 12, 1792. The 100th anniversary of the event inspired the first official Columbus Day holiday in the United States when President Benjamin Harrison issued a proclamation encouraging the observance of the day. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt designated Columbus Day a national holiday in 1934. Since the 1990s, some states and local municipalities have observed the day as Indigenous Peoples Day to honor the history of the native peoples. 2021 marked the first time a U.S. president recognized the day as Indigenous Peoples Day through presidential proclamation. For more information on Columbus Day, visit the Library of Congress at loc.gov. Today in History, October 12th. <laughs>